welcome to my studio in Margate in Kent. My name's Brian. I've been painting for many years and I've been running art classes for about 13, 14 years now. So I'd like to take this opportunity and film in my classes, put them together so that you can watch and follow along with us and hopefully learn new things and maybe revisit some old things. The classes and courses that I run here in my studio help to support a project that I set up about 16 years ago with a friend of mine. We're called Looking Ahead and we work with young adults with learning needs where we support them towards realistic work and independent living. So if you'd like to find out more, please visit my website www.briandavenportartist.com And don't forget to like or subscribe if you like the channel. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our second painting. We're going to paint the Lake District with two colours, French ultramarine blue and Payne's grey. The paper is the same paper I use always. It's a 300 grams, 240 pounds. I'm wetting the paper with clean water from the top down to the horizon line. Then I'm going to paint in the sky. Before we start with the sky, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing my channel, for leaving your comments and subscribing. So thank you very much. What I'm going to do is pick up a colour of ultramarine blue and Payne's grey, starting from the right hand side, sweeping in towards the centre, then picking up the same colour and going from the left hand side into the centre. Try not to join them, leaving a white piece of paper wet into wet as it dries it will fade in the distance creating distant clouds keeping the clouds as level to the horizon line as possible in a moment i'm going to pause and let the paper dry at this stage if you pause with me and then you can start your painting and paint up to this level and when you've got the sky painted in on your picture, start my video again and follow the next stage. As you can see here, I'm keeping the line nice and straight along the bottom. And in a moment, I'm going to stop and let it dry. You will see a change in colour as it dries. It dries a third lighter. There's the difference. Now I'm going to pick up some more paint and start just off centre and painting a mountain range, keeping the edge jagged, not too smooth, leaving it on the horizon line. I'm carrying on with the mountain, drawing it down, little movements of the brush, leaving little texture shapes on the paint and on the paper, leaving little bits of light showing but keeping it as straight as possible along the horizon line. Picking up more, some more paint and bringing down the end. And I'm going to block this whole shape in, in a colour of Payne's Grey and Ultramarine Blue. When I get to the end and block this in, I'm going to stop videoing, let it dry and then start again. And at that stage, you do the same and paint this piece in if you're following along. I'm going to change colour again about a third. You'll see the change. There it goes. And now I'm going to pick up the same colour, a little bit more Payne's grey, and I'm going to start painting in from the top left hand side, keeping my brush on that at the top, bringing it down along the side. Then I'm going to cut across and leaving the front part of that mountain with just one layer of paint on. And then I'm going to block this side in with more Payne's Grey, less blue. It's going to make it slightly darker, which will bring this part of the mountain closer to me whilst pushing that little piece at the front further away. And in a moment I'm going to pause my video when I get to the bottom and leave it to dry. If you're painting along with me, 
get up to this level and when you've got the mountains in you stop painting and start it again and continue watching what I'm going to do now if you see it's just changed color I'm picking up my paint and I'm coming in slightly higher and I'm just going to block it in with a darker color of Payne's Grey and that's going to create a range of free mountains and as it gets darker as I said before it's going to come closer so I'm just making little brush marks on the paper pick up some more Payne's Grey and just darken it down so you get this lovely texture bringing the front mountain a little bit more forward than the other two on that horizon line the brush I use is a sable brush um, a real hair it holds the water holds the paint really well I'm going to paint this just a touch higher at the top so it goes a little bit higher up than the one behind it in the moment when I block this color in and this paints gray I'm going to stop and let the picture dry and again if you're painting along with me that's a good time for you to carry on painting you'll see the color change as it dries keeping the bottom as level as possible to the horizon line making a few more marks into the paint to give it a sort of texture of rocks taking it out a little bit more to the front perfect leave it to dry now you'll see the color change and I'm going to start on the right hand side and put another mountain in this is more Payne's grey than blue just cutting down here I'm going to create a, two mountains on this side very close and the base of the mountain in this one will go just below the horizon line and it give a feeling as if this mountain is much closer than the one behind leaving a little gap of white paper so that the mountains don't touch and it gives the feeling of distance again keeping the base of this mountain level with the horizon line I've come down about half an inch lower than the horizon line again blocking it in keeping the base as level as possible with the horizon line in a moment I'm going to pick up some more Payne's Grey and I'm just coming across here I'm just making a mark with my brush leveling that corner off there just straight on the edge and that mark I've just made I'm going to bring in some more Payne's Grey and start adding over that half of the mountain so that give a feeling of two mountains on this side leaving it to dry you see the change in color and then I'm coming down with this us paint gray just bring it down following that line that I left earlier exactly just going over it to give that feeling of two mountains again I'm going to just put this in with just paint gray keeping the line as level to the horizon line as possible this is working wet and dry that means wet paint on dry paper just gently keeping that line level blocking it in with the paint grey leaving texture of paint on the paper careful to get to the bottom try not to get it into the water in a moment I'm going to move the camera angle so that you can see when I'm painting the water I'm going to let this dry move the angle 
Then I'm going to pick up clean water. Picking up the clean water now and wetting where I want the water to be. Being careful not to touch the edge of the mountains. Making sure the paper is really wet and there's no dry areas. I'd like to work wet into wet when I'm creating reflection in water. Being careful not to touch the edge of the mountain as I've said. We've got about two minutes before the paper starts to dry and that's plenty of time. What I'm going to do is get a mixture of French ultramarine blue and a little bit of Payne's grey and I draw it downwards in the water. Because this is wet into wet, what will happen is it will fade into the distance with a very soft edge, just like the sky. I'm leaving a little gap of white paper to represent light from the sky, picking up clean water. I'm just wiggling it down the gap and softening that edge even more. I'm going to come in with some more paint and just darken a little bit. We have a little bit of Payne's Grey and Ultramarine Blue. I'm going to do this on both sides. And I'm going to let it dry. Pick up some clean water. And just come down the centre of the white paper just to soften the edge a little more. Giving a feeling of the light coming from the sky. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to come on again with clean water and just go over the reflection in the water. This is just clean water now going over the dry paint. I'm going to put in the land while the paint's dry, as you saw it change. I'm bringing in the land here. That's just Payne's Grey on its own. I'll just sweep it in from the edge. I'm going to zoom in in a moment and then put some more rocks in like we did in the previous video once it's dry. So I'm going to zoom in. You're going to see the change in colour. And then I'm going to get a mix of the paint grey and a little bit of ultramarine blue just to darken it. Put the paint in, not too wet. And with the gift card, start from the top, making circle movements down towards the bottom. Keeping the card flat, do not dig the corner in and just make little movements down, small rocks and some big rocks. And what makes this work is the rough paper. As I'm squeezing the paint over the surface, it's leaving these textures. Just be careful when you do it, don't push too hard. And as I say, you start from the top and work down. Take as long as you need. 
I imagine a little bit more rocks in here, in front of these. There has to be a little water in it, not too much, just a little. Again, the same thing, sweep downwards. Not a lot of pressure, just gently bring it down. Create these lovely textures. I'm just gonna finish off here with the rocks. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to the left of them. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see as I add them in. There are some shorelines in the Lake District on the edge of the lake that has these rocks. Just finishing off here. We'll put a little bit more, just as I said, to the left, just around here. Again, the car gentle moves. You won't be able to see these very well, but as I zoom out, you'll be able to see them. Again, just take your time. Just moving the camera now. And there they are. I'm going to pick up just some Payne's Grey now and a little water, leaving it all to dry. And I'm going to create grass. Just gently lay my brush, a flat edged, onto the grass and gently flick up. Don't force it up, just let the bristles on the brush flick up on their own and you create these little grasses. I'm doing in little clumps, I'm not filling the whole land in, just parts of it. Leaving some light parts. And I'm leaving some dark parts where the grasses will be. This picture's nearly finished, I'm just adding these finishing touches. Creating an early morning scene over the Lake District. A beautiful place in England. Just carry on a few more. Again, there's no rush, you've got plenty of time. Just going along the shore's edge. Oh, just a few little grasses. Just try not to keep them even. And I'm going to pick up a watercolour pencil. I'm going to sign my name. Brian Davenport. I'll make my little mark a little sign of a fish. I'm going to place it in a temporary mount, put it on the wall so you can see what it's like. I'm going to zoom in closer. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed painting it. And hopefully see you again next time. Thank you for watching.